hello hey Taurus I'm so excited for you guys today because your energy is so beautiful okay now Taurus it seemed like so when I did your reading right a lot of times when I do readings I split it up so I'll say like I don't know I just sometimes I just go with my energy and I may separate it so with you guys, I felt so compelled to start with my Archangel cards today. But I also felt very compelled to separate Taurus marriage and single Taurus, right? And so I wanted to do that because I wanted it to be very specific, okay? Now, overall, for all of you, I have a section for that too, right? Isn't that amazing? So... That way, I don't have to even do a separate reading. I just felt so compelled to break it down to you this way. So, Taurus, let's get started, okay? Now, for those of you that are already coupled up in relationships, even if you're not married, this is for my couples, okay? So, on one side, for those of you that are coupled up or maybe married in relationships, whatever have you, right? It says here to give your relationship a chance. Now, for some of you, I see a Pisces male here. So, a lot of you are dealing with a Pisces. For a lot of you, you are dealing with a Cancer person, okay? I just see a lot of water here, okay? Now, that, and that's just really that. Like, I see a lot of water here for you guys, okay? And I want to say that you need to open your heart and mind to those around you. Um, I feel like this situation is calling for you to have a lot of trust and to seek out some type of heartfelt advice or spiritual counseling or some type of spiritual guidance. And if I'm your spiritual guide, then that's fine. I am always here for you guys if you need me. But I do, it does say here to give your relationship a chance. Okay, work on your partnership. Any type of misunderstandings that have been happening lately, the universe is encouraging you to work on your partnership, okay? Look how beautiful that is. All right? Now, I feel like it, there was a lot of chemistry when you guys first met. And some for some reason, it's like the chemistry just went its own little separate way or something. Like, there has been so many up and downs lately that has caused you guys. Some of you are walking past, back and forth past your spouse every day and not talking to them. Okay, Taurus, a lot of you are so stubborn. It doesn't make any sense how stubborn you can really be. But I feel like your spouse is also equally stubborn. And so they are putting you in a position to, you're like, well, I'm not going to apologize first. They hurt me. And your spouse is basically saying the same thing. But somebody has to be the bigger person, okay? And so I feel like this month for you, you have to focus on bringing that spark back into your marriage okay bring that spark back into your relationship if you have been wanting to get married you may receive that good news really soon so do not give up dear love okay give your relationship a chance understand that even if for those of you that are dealing with a fire sign i just wanted to point that out that you have to be patient because fire signs are not the type to just for head over heels and love and run off with the moon like they are not those type of people they sometimes take them a while to you know trust you to fall in love and even if they have been with you for a few years now it doesn't matter they may still be dealing with some things that's from their past that may be hurting them or holding them back so be patient my love for those of you that are dealing with this water sign i want to encourage you with the same thing be patient because even water signs, they, you know, sometimes it takes them a while. They have to follow their intuition a lot, you know. And you have to remember that they, a lot of them, they love affection and they love attention. And when you're not giving it, they feel this sense of insecurity. And so you, Taurus, you're a little busy bee. Like a lot of you are always busy and only times, like a lot of times you can become lazy, but she's like, I feel like you're only lazy when this person is making you feel like you don't have to do anything. So I feel like these heart-to-heart -heart conversations need to happen. You need to explain to them that, listen, 
You can't get mad at me for being comfortable when you made me this way, right? Where you came into my life spoiling me and taking me shopping and making me feel like, you know, a beautiful king or queen. Like, you can't get mad at me for, you know, for you putting out that energy of making me feel that safe with you, you know? I feel like you have to just break it down to your spouse. But I do see that they do still love you and that this chemistry is still there, but it just kind of died out a little bit. And so take out time to work on your partnership, dear love. Okay, now, and the reason why I'm saying that too is because along with chemistry, and that's why I keep telling you guys to seek out some type of uh, spiritual guidance or advice, because you guys also got to express your love, okay? Go ahead and make that romantic gesture. Let your spouse know, listen, we've been fighting too long, I think we need a vacation. Or some of you may have just recently taken some vacations. Right? But I feel, I still feel like it just needs to be you and your spouse. Like, nobody else. No children, no friends, just you and your wonderful spouse. Okay? I also see that you are on a spiritual journey as well, dear love. You have the Renewal card here as one of your Head Start cards. And this is overall for every Taurus. Okay? Single or not. Um, review and evaluate a favorable assessment of the facts. It's time to move into a new direction. Okay, a lot of you are very independent, but I feel like this spouse came along and just made you feel like you can just depend on them for any and everything. And it's like, but now they're complaining about it. And I, again, I just feel like some of you just need to address that. Okay, some of you need time for meditation, taking some time alone, because with this renewal card here, it does stay, it is a spiritual card. Okay, so some of you may need some quiet time. And I mean the type of quiet time where nobody is distracting you. The type of quiet time where you can finally just be you. It's just you. You're sipping your wine or you are chilling in the tub. You got your rose petals going. I mean, even if you are a man, you can still wine and dine yourself. Okay? So take good care of yourself, dear love. Take care of your mental health. Okay? Okay? So, something I want you guys to say is this, right? And you can visualize this, close your eyes, however you want, right? But I need you to hear this. I see myself in perfect health, with absolute prosperity, and invigorated with life. I am appreciating this physical life that I wanted, as I decided to be a physical being. It is glorious to be here making decisions with my physical brain. And, okay accessing the power of the universe through the power of law of attraction so guys you have to visualize you being more mentally capable mentally ready for this relationship being mentally prepared for anything that comes your way okay focus on that self-love because a lot of you and i feel like i'm talking to my single tourists now where a lot of you got free yourself okay it is time for you to take back that that control take back you know, control of your life. Take It's time to take back that control of your love life, okay? It's time to get back out there. Start dating again. Time for you go to have a party again. You know, go have fun. Go meet up with some friends of yours. Um, I feel like for some of you, this is a new love, okay? New love is on the horizon, and you got it twice. You got it with the Archangel cards, and you got new love, literally, in the love cards, okay? So, there is definitely something that's about to take off, okay? Or if you are currently dating someone, then this relationship is about to begin a new phase. So, you may decide that you want to get a bit more serious. You want to start taking things a bit more serious with this person. Maybe making it official, saying, making it official to the public that you guys really are committed to one another. I see a lot of friendliness happening i feel like a lot of you were friends with this person for a while and now you are deciding to take this relationship to a new level okay but for some of you it's just simply a new person coming into your world that is intuitive sensitive artistic and friendly okay now this is also about psychic abilities so a lot of you will be tapping into your psychic abilities when it comes to love you will be having visions and thoughts about your twin flame or about your soulmate now, with this new person, or even if this is someone that you are already friends with, I feel like you you guys knew each other before. So, Virgo got the same card as well. 
So this is really interesting, okay? Now, past life relationship is a spiritual journey. It's a spiritual relationship. You guys have known each other before, which makes me feel like it is twin flame energy, okay? Now, so if you guys, you will be noticing different visions and ideas and dreams about this person, okay? Now, the other thing I wanted to talk about is this, right? In an attraction-based universe, there is no such thing as no. Your attention to it says yes to it. In your physical reality, things do not manifest instantly, for there is a wonderful buffer of time that gives you the opportunity to redirect your attention more to what you do want to experience, okay? So, your thoughts of manifestations enjoy a buffer of time. So, continue to manifest, continue to dream about that twin flame, you know, talk to your twin flame. You may sound, may feel like you sound crazy, you know, but when you are having this quiet time alone, dear love, remember that it's okay to speak to your twin flame because they feel you spiritually. They hear you. They can telepathically connect with you on so many levels that you never even knew. So speak to your twin flame, and I guarantee you they will be coming, okay? You will be meeting someone really soon. Okay, now with all of your chakras here, you have some cards here that's dealing with communication. This energy in the month of September, we had this full moon in Pisces at the beginning of the month. So that's probably why you got an increase in psychic abilities. Because the beginning of this month, we have a full moon in Pisces on September 6th. On September uh, 20th, we have that new moon in Virgo. So with this renewal card here, I feel like during that new moon, this is the number 20, okay? During that new moon in Virgo, you will find yourself to be a bit extra emotional, extra critical, or maybe judgmental of others. If you are a manager at work, you may find yourself being like uh, extra micromanaging maybe. Okay, so just take that time to communicate and take that time to connect with the outer world. Go into nature, go outside, go have fun. Okay, some of you are still dealing with this whole acceptance thing, learning to accept you. I feel like a lot of you are feeling like, Something is missing from your life. But dear love, with this brand new life experience happening in your world, this will be a significant life event, okay? Virgo also got this. So if you have Virgo in your birth chart, you may want to review that uh, video, okay? This will be a powerful revelation that leads to change. So take time to spread your wings and be happy, dear love. Free yourself. Get rid of any toxic energy, any toxic relationships. This is codependency. Some of you have been either too codependent, depending on your spouse too much. Some of you are drinking too much, smoking too much, or this is simply your spouse doing it and it's starting to irritate you. So, dear love, I will pray to the universe for clarity for you, love, abundance of love, abundance of positive energy, abundance of purity, and abundance of happiness. And I pray that whoever this new person is, they fill your life with nothing but love and light, okay? So, have a wonderful week. Taurus, wherever you are in this beautiful universe, have a wonderful week, a wonderful year. The rest of September is going to be phenomenal for you financially and emotionally. So you will expect some beautiful changes in love and just be happy. Enjoy it, dear love. Embrace that change and live in the moment like there is no tomorrow, okay? So I love you guys. Have a great week, a great September. Please like and share and subscribe. Check out my website, g1insights.org. And thank you for all your love and many donations. Bye.